art is subjective. I mean, an individual art piece and say like a museum is just something that doesn't do any sort of function by itself other than just be itself. And whichever art pieces sell the most at any given time are always some sort of reflection or critique of society and their culture at the time the artwork was created. Comparing art in the postmodern era, which is, you know, the era after World War II, to, you know, the classical pieces like your Da Vinci's or your Goya's, you know, that sort of thing, where the art is objectively beautiful, well, actually, it is beautiful and was painstakingly created. You might say that the modern world is fucked, especially since the latest art movement on the internet just died on its ass the moment it was created. But let's face it, society and culture has always been kind of fucky, even during the time of John Constable and J.M.W. J.W.M. Turner. Don't know his name, love his works though, but yeah, those were created during a time when you could easily just accuse your neighbour of witchcraft and, and watch her burn at the stake in public, and that was socially acceptable. As was trying to cure the syphilis you got from a hooker with, like, shoving cane toads up your ass. But why are the artworks selling for the most amount of money always the ones that are, like, the lowest effort and created with absolutely poor technical application? Well, art itself is supposed to provoke an emotional response, and I'm guessing that artists figured out that you can re recreate the same sort of emotional response by just, you know, sticking a chair on top of a tree and charging 40k for it. Because again, art is always um, a, a critique or a reflection of culture. And honestly, getting some snobby art collector who just blew like 500 million on an original Picasso to also buy your random roll of sticky tape and, and, and buy that for an even higher price, like that's kind of a flex. But of course, this whole critique of what truly is art and what isn't and what is valuable and what isn't, well, you've kind of got a, a, a modern art museum that, that, you know, is virtually indistinguishable from like a trash pile or a hell, in some cases, even a cafeteria as was the case in Seoul, South Korea recently. Because an artwork that was being shown at a museum in South Korea that was worth $120 million was accidentally eaten by one of, of the museum visitors. Now, how exactly does one accidentally eat an artwork that's valued at $120 million? Well, the artwork in question is no Dali original. Those things are beautiful, but certainly not appetizing. The artwork that was eaten was just a banana duct taped to a wall. And the person in question, a high school student from South Korea, said that he was hungry and he just skipped breakfast, saw the banana on the wall and just ate it. There's a video recorded by the guy's friend that goes on for over a minute of, of his friend just eating the banana completely unchallenged. No security, no nothing. Just a guy and his $120,000 banana. Now this riveting piece of art is called Comedian. Now the fact that a banana duct taped to a wall titled Comedian being shown in an art museum implies that there's some kind of hidden meaning or hidden joke behind the artwork. I'm just going to take a stab at the dark and say that it's a critique of the people who buy it. They're the comedians. That's what I think. Because you can honestly count on some rich money launderer. We'll get to money, money laundering thing in art in a second. But you, you can count on some snobby rich person not knowing the price of a banana. You may think I'm giving the artist of this amazing work too much credit, but I actually think I'm right. Because the name of the artist is Maurizio Catalan, and honestly, I'm actually a fan of his work. Not this, but you know, this is the kind of ooh, hidden meaning thing that's, that's just clogging up modern art museums. But this is the same guy who created a fully functioning, fully golden toilet and put that in an art museum and called it America. And Mr. Catalan has had a huge number of problems with people both eating and stealing his art because that actually got stolen in 2019. Maybe Mr. Catalan can, you know, 
turn he, he his artworks being constantly stolen and eaten in into some kind of art in itself like art is not just supposed to be put in a museum it's supposed to be out there okay now the whole thing's obviously a joke and and the student didn't accidentally eat the banana it was obviously done on purpose but why was this stupid banana worth $120,000 in the first place? Well, one, regardless of how stupid it is, it is a, it is a Maurizio Catalan original. Even though the banana is replaced every two to three days to prevent it from going, even if it's just a banana taped to a wall, someone can proudly say that they own something that Mr. Catalan made. And two is obviously money laundering. Now, stuff with, with a function probably is under some kind of law where you can't sell it above a certain price or or if you try to um a tax office might get a bit suspicious as to why um a, a, a part for your car is suddenly like 40 million dollars just for a, a new alternator but you know art auctions have zero regulations and the reason is that art is generally without a function and is a lot harder to categorize than you know something that is built for a ridiculously specific purpose like a spoon any court case on say i don't know if i just draw, draw, draw a little circle but paint it on ms paint and someone tries to say that like this isn't worth anything i'm sure every single legal defense will be but that's not what it is and since my drawing is essentially useless it's ridiculously hard to categorize and there'd be like a huge back and forth between lawyers you know the prosecutor and the judge who's just sick of hearing about why my little circle it is supposed to represent the human soul and i don't think any judge will just bother with any kind of case to determining what is art and what isn't and, 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 so, and so the legal system just lets the art world go unregulated and because of that art can be bought and sold for pretty much any price and anybody with money who shows up to an art auction well that's unregulated too who cares how they got the money it, it is art art is not supposed to be regulated not the art itself nor where the money came from from the person who bought it in the first place just like the idiots who think that they can cure their everything by drinking bleach there's always going to be someone dumb enough to buy anything and all those millions you got from selling your butthole to tech bros that you purchased the art with, well, you, you get that exact amount back with clean money from the person who bought your stupid artwork in the first place. Now, of course, with the whole NFT craze that started in late 2021 and essentially died in late 2021, you may say that, well, it's just a link to a Dropbox of a picture. Why are people wasting money in this? Thing is, People didn't realize it at the time. NFTs were hyped at the time as this new digital way of verifying art. And well, and, and, and the more stupid it is, the more money you have to burn, which of course means that you're so loaded with cash from doing all this cool shit that you can just waste your money on anything and it won't even put a dent in your wallet. Because at least like with an original Van Gogh, I can take it off the wall and beat someone over the head with it. Fuck am I supposed to do with an NFT? 